so sad, such a sad, sad situation. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Good morning, y'all. Oh, man, I love this seaweed. Uh, this roasted seaweed snacks. Incredible. Anyway, um, y'all, pray for these kids because, well, well kids, I, I, everybody's almost a kid to me now at this point. Um, pray for these young people who have seriously lost their way. They have been exposed to, from an early age, to a lot of filth and degradants. So it's normal to them. And they've normalized abuse and every damn thing else living in a household with uh, Sean Combs. They, they've witnessed beatings. They know about drugging. And all this behavior was okay with them. Okay? That's number one. So what... I'm saying is these young people are in serious denial about their father, um, the seriousness behind what he's done, the criminal mindset, the abuser, the trafficking, the drug use, the all these things are not, not an excuse. Because y'all miss going on vacations and, uh, you know, driving around in all the fancy cl- with all the fancy clothes and fine cars. So as the disgraced music mogul sits in a jail waiting trial, his children have issued a statement about their devastating month. In a joint post, Quincy Brown, who is Al B. Shure's son, Justin Combs, 30, Christian Combs, uh, 26, Chance Combs, 18, Delilah and and, um, Jesse Combs, 17, condemn those who have judged their father based on accusations, conspiracy theories, and false narratives, emphasizing the fact that nothing will break their bond. Um, these are some traumatized young people. And the fact that their father has been accused of killing their mother has no bearing on them because, you know, their mind is gone. Um, it said many have judged this guy based on accusations. We've saw tapes, y'all. We seen video of him stomping the hell out of Cassie. What are you talking about? This this didn't come from the media. This came from your wicked ass daddy. And for y'all, this is really sad because for him to be accused of, and if it's proven to he has done it, killed your mama, got her in the ground. Got her in the ground. And you want to hang on to him because he's the only parent you got. You better get the hell away from him for he make for you be laying up there dead somewhere. Talking about nothing will break the strength of our family. They continue. We miss you. We love you, Dad. See, this is what I mean about most of us growing up in uh, dysfunctional families, dysfunctional uh, situations that they they making light of this. Like this ain't nothing. He ain't do nothing. The statement comes, um, I guess, after DJ Envy argued that Combs, who was denied bail three times after being arrested on charges of racketeering and sex trafficking, should be released for the sake of his children. Um, 
I don't want to hear nothing that DJ Envy has to say um, unless he paid off them people or helped get them people paid off that you used your name and reputation from the breakfast club to steal their money. I don't want to hear nothing from you. Okay? What I do know is these kids need, these young people need to be in therapy ASAP. ASAP. The fact that I don't I don't care that he's their father. Their mother is dead. And their father has been accused of killing their mother. Kind of like Justin and um uh uh what's the other one name? Uh, OJ Simpson's kids. It was Justin and um the other and the girl. Well, I heard the girl is far away from him. Uh, you don't hear from Justin. He keeps himself, you know, out of the limelight. Only thing person we did hear from was Arcel. Uh-uh. I, I really feel bad for them. To have my father in a situation where he's accused of killing my mother. And, and all we got is each other. Then, as as kids, you know, they they maybe don't even see the ramifications behind, and they're not really kids. So I want to stop saying that, because I just said that oldest boy was thirty three, and he's got no dog in the fight. That's you, I'll be sure, son. And he killed your mama, and you saying some shit like this, allegedly. This is really sad. This is why I say mental health is so important. This is why I'm I'm not saying they're supposed to come out and, and um you know call their father all kinds of murderous names and things like that. But I wouldn't expect this right here. And why would I let a man out on bail who calls somebody fifty something times and people are uh, afraid that this man is trying to put hits out on them and I would let him out on bail. See, the whole country, the world is going insane. It's going insane. Okay, maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. What y'all think? Are these kids uh, trauma uh, bonded? Are these... Are these the, are these young people just so hurt and wrapped up in what ain't real because they've seen so much madness that what their father did is nothing? I mean, what y'all think about that? I mean, I want you to leave your comments below. And if you like what you hear, subscribe and share my channel and my commentary, I mean. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.